If you look closely at your people's gas bill, you'll see a surcharge. That money is being used to overhaul rusty and leaky gas pipes, but critics question the spending. The budget estimate's about seven billion. It's over a, a 30 year period. Over 200,000 new safety devices installed. It's a lot of work, so we're pleased with where we are. People's Gas is so pleased with its progress of its system modernization program that company leaders invited the I team to see the progress being made. The biggest focus for us is safety. In this Wicker Park neighborhood and all over the city, century old corroded and sometimes leaky pipes are being removed and replaced with new strong plastic. It does, however, come with a cost, a surcharge on your bill. We understand that the, the cost of the program itself is going to be a challenge to the most vulnerable customers we have. And as a company, we've put in since 2019 over $60 million plus in bill pay assistance programs. The consumer watchdog group PERG is critical of the plan. They have been especially since the budget grew by billions of dollars about six years ago. Legislators were told the average cost to a people's gas customer would be around $1.14 per month. Over the last three months over the summer, the average people's gas customer paid $11.50. People's Gas says the overall average surcharge is $10.80 per month. Currently, the company files quarterly reports with the Illinois Commerce Commission on its progress. But PERG and Governor J.B. Pritzker want more regulation. The governor's office telling the I-Team, the current planning process hurts consumers, and it's imperative that legislation include reforms which expand consumer affordability protections, such as mandating that any surcharges go through the ICC's rate-making process. People's Gas says the program already has strong built-in consumer protections and regulatory oversight that ensure stability and ultimately reduce the overall costs for our customers. People's Gas adding that some costs are higher now in residential neighborhoods with safety top of mind during the pandemic. But the company has been able to speed up sections of the project in the loop. Activity there has been quiet. The company also says the program has created 2,000 jobs annually in the Chicago area.